So, day one, I think I'm going to name him Luke. In Tibetan, at least here, Lala is the word for cat. And so maybe Luke is a little bit close to Lala. I don't know. This is a boy. His forearm is a little bit wounded. I put on a little bandage. I don't know how long that'll last. But he's really happy right now, just chilling out. I've been kind of rubbing him with a, a wet towel so that first you get some dust off of him. But I think he thinks it's like this huge tongue cleaning him and it feels really nice. He's been such a sweetie. And I had to move out of the Tibetan family's home that I was staying with because they don't like cats. Mm, they have a Tibetan medicine hospital and they have to keep it free, I guess, of stray animals. And Luke definitely had an owner because he's very, very loving and he really loves to be petted and handled, I think. With a really loud purr, really cute. And um, yes, I just found him. Well, I didn't find him, he found us. He came into the house meowing very loudly um, he had a very bad case of kitty cold, and his paw, his leg is wounded, so he can't really hunt for himself. And because he's wounded, other cats start to bully him, and he can't really hold on to his territory. So he was begging for food, and I was heartbroken. And it took me a long time to decide whether to move out of the house and to uh, to move out of the house and to take on care of this cat mm. he's so sweet he loves to eat meat such a sweetheart mm. he just loves being close to people look at that he just came right up to me so our day one together, I moved into a hotel room. This is sort of the <laughs> what it looks like right now. And um, yeah, it's a really nice room actually. Very new. And um, well, there goes cleaning. We'll see how we get along. Bye for now.